We're here in Commune Pinal. Uh, this is, means Commune Beehive. It's one of the strongholds of the Bolivarian Revolution. It's one of the communal cities that's been set up. It's here in the center of Caracas. Here all the people uh, live collectively and they, they are strong supporters of the revolution and they're trying to build uh, collective businesses and ownership uh, over the economy. It's, it's quite an inspiring place to be at Beehive Commune. Indo or 
or our American um, uh, socialist ideology of Carlos Mariate. Y dice, no es calco ni copia, sino, sino creación heroica de los pueblos. Okay, so it, this is not a copy or plagiarism, this is a creation that comes from the people themselves. Entonces, él, desde lo que somos, empezó a construir el socialismo del siglo XXI. So from where we stand, he started building the socialism of the 21st century. So, you know, he wasn't going to mess with God. He used to say that Christ was the first socialist in the world. <laughs> and Anna Kaona, which is her name, uh, believes in that Christ. En el que reparte el pan. The dad that, um, you know, that gives the bread. En que ama al prójimo como a sí mismo. The one that loves thy neighbor and as yourself. As yourself. Como a sí mismo. El que expulsó a los mercaderes del templo. The one that has held the people from the market. El que fue justo. The just. Christ. El que visitó al enfermo, no al sano. The one that visited the, the sick people. Y el que murió por su idea. And the one that died for his ideals. En ese Dios creo. En so, Dios creo. So that's the Christ, that's the God that she believes in. Y en ese fue el Dios que creó Chávez. And that's the God that Chávez believes in. Bueno, somos hijos de Chávez realmente. De hecho, yo tengo 25 años. Y cuando le dieron el golpe de Estado con la de Chávez, yo tenía 12 años. So, no tenía ningún tipo de participación política y simplemente el hecho de ver gente bajar a los cerros a decir yo quiero ver a Chávez, yo voté por Chávez, ¿dónde está Chávez? Uh -huh. Eso a mí me causó gran impresión, yo tenía 12 años, era una niña y a partir de allí el espíritu, o sea, somos hijos de la revolución y es por eso uh -huh. que esta juventud la va a defender como sea. So they are the children of Chávez. She's 25 now, but back then in 2002, when the coup against, against Chavez happened, she was only 12. Mm -hmm. And she was very impressed by seeing the people coming down from the Chanty towns to the city of, to the city, demanding that they they voted for Chavez and they wanted Chavez. So for mm -hmm. that, it, it left a mark on her. And she, since then, she understood that they're the children of the revolution and that they will defend this revolution by any means. So Chavez was the best teacher and she wouldn't get tired of listening to him. And, uh, he used to have the TV show for eight hours and she wouldn't get tired. Max Weber, a great philosopher, sociologist, talked about charisma. Como escucha, yo creo que tenía unos cinco carismas, todos completos, los definía, los tenía en esencia. So, Max Weber, a, a very famous uh, sociologist, used to talk about the five different uh, charismas, and she believes that Chavez had all of the aspects. Desde mira, este te hablaba, este contachaba un cuento, después te cantaba una canción, después volvía, y después saludaba a la señora, y eso sí, no era populista. No era populismo, era hipocresía, tú lo sentías, le llegaba una conexión con su pueblo. Natural de él. Sorprendente. So Chavez would tell you a joke, tell you a story, then he would sing a song, then he would go away and come back and say hi to the old lady and the crowd. And it was in populism. It was something that was real, sincere. And um, you, could, you could feel that. Pero tú Chávez explicó o intentó explicar un libro de Iván Mesal, el metabolismo del capital, de una manera que, bueno, insólita. So Chávez tried to explain this book by Iván, ¿no? Yeah? De Iván Mesal, así lo contó oh, el escritor. Oh, Iván Mesal, uh, The Metabolism of the Capital, and he tried to explain that. Un libro así. Y él agarraba así, como el arañero de, 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 de allá en los llanos, pero un llanero, un pequeño, agarraba el libro, Mira lo que dice aquí y tal, y ponía, y ponía a la gente a leer, decía, lee este libro, anda para allá, escucha esto, escucha, porque era su esencia. So y eso es lo que transmitía la gente. 
So it was a very thick book, so he would go through the pages and be like, look what it says here, go read this book, and he would encourage the people to read, uh, but that was his essence. Y nosotros, bueno, somos el reflejo de, de su confesión, no su And we are, we are the reflection of Chavez. We are what he, um, ¿cómo se llama? Perdón. What he planted. <laughs> de hecho, mira, te rescató, rescató a Bolívar. So he rescued the legacy rescató of Bolívar. Rescató a Mar Santa. Rescató todo nuestro, nuestra lucha latinoamericana. He rescued the people of Bolivia in America. Where he it was a nationalism, not a chauvinist, but it was a nationalism, but it was a Bolivarian nationalism. It was a nationalism of the great uh, homeland. Este día me pasaron un video de un compañero que es un doctor en ciencias sociales de Barcelona. Y él estaba comentando y hablando de Chávez y decía que una amiga pro venezolana de él decía desde que llegó Chávez y desde que Chávez me enseñó ya no me daba pena mi nariz era pro venezolana y no le daba pena su nariz so recently uh, social sciences uh, professor in, in uh, Spain was talking about Chávez and he was telling the story about this Afro Venezuelan friend of his who said to him after Chávez came to power I'm no longer I'm um, ashamed or embarrassed of my nose or her features. She was African as well, so there was a lot of discrimination. So that's who she is. She's African. She's African. And that's all I can say. Gracias. Yo soy creyente, yo creo en Dios. Gracias a Dios por permitirme vivir en mi vida en los días de mi chan. So she's a, a believer, she's a religious person, and she thanks God because she was alive during the times of Chávez. And she thanks God because God will allow, allow her to die for Chávez. This here behind me is the uh, radio and TV station that's run out of the Beehive Commune here. That's uh, where they kind of broadcast revolutionary messages all over the country. It's collectively run by the people who live here in the commune. So we're outside of Colectivo Radio 23. This is one of the community radio stations that's been set up as part of the Bolivarian process of creating media that isn't controlled by the big corporations and the rich, but is actually accountable to the community. This is Colectivo Radio 23. No, I don't know what